Hello guys, and I'm back again with the winter book haul for you and for me. I'm going to split it in two parts because I have 20 books. And you know, I am quite a chatterbox when it comes to books. So, even when I go straight to the point and when I do not know a thing about a book, I keep on talking. So, I'm going to try and keep it short and straight because for starters, I don't know... There's some books I know, I know nothing of and other I don't want to spoil it because I like going into a book with as less knowledge as possible. So in here I have 11 books to show you. So let's get started shall we. The first book I'm going to talk to you about is this gorgeously published book. Where is uh, Girls Will Be Girls by Emir O'Toole. It is a collection of feminist essay. It is about gender role, how the society, um, there is how, I don't know, society kind of, <clears throat> I don't know how to explain this book. It's about gender role, gender equality and feminism, about, you know, the male and female way to behave, how it is. How you have to behave because you're male, how you have to behave because you're female, how you know it is easy to fall into this stereotype and stuff. I've actually started reading this book and I'm well no. I've read ten each pages and I know this is going to be a very important book, so I can't wait to read that. Then the second book is a novel. It is the Street by Han Petri, and I absolutely love this cover. It is quite simple, but I just love it. It is a floppy paperback, and I am so excited to read this book. It is an African American classic. I know that One Palm Show has read it and adored it. I'm going to link it down down below. I know that Lady from uh, Free from Lady has also read it and absolutely adored it. And I'm going to link a channel down below and I believe she also has done a book chat of this um, of her you know opinion and things about the book but I haven't watched it yet because I would like to watch it once I have read the book so we're excited to read that one and it's going to be very soon I've read one page and oh my my heart is ready the next book is by Helen Hoyeyemi, The Opposite House, in this very pretty edition. I've been meaning to read uh, some Helen Hoyeyemi for the past year, um, and I've uh, noticed that lately she has been quite popular here and there. So I've picked up, like, I've bought the least known of a book because I would rather begin with the book that is less known and then go to the greater work so I don't have you know the uh, I don't know unreasonable expectation or idea I can have from just people who have read a, fam a most famous work then there is How Water the Pink Guest in his really beautiful Virago Modern Classic and Sadly, it is my last Sarah Water book. I've read now five out of, out of the six books she has published. And I'm so excited to read this one, but at the same time, I want to take it slow. Because it is the last time I would have read for the first time all of her books. But I know I'm going to love it. And yeah, I know nothing about this book except that it is said it's in, in the 20s. It is, it is about a family who are going to take lodgers because they can't afford to pay, you know, bills and stuff for their current house. So, yeah. Then we have my dear love, Zadie Smith, Changing My Mind, Occasional Essays, in this beautiful hardback. And with the, how do we call that? You know, the thing we can use as a paper, other paperback? Bookmark, bookmark. It is a collection on essay on writing. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at these things. And stuff, you know, fiction, 
nonfiction writing life. Really exciting to dive into this one because I love Daddy Smith. I fall in love with her three years ago, even though it took me three years to actually read one of her book. So, yeah. Then the next book is another Zeddy Smith, which is White Teeth. Uh, I loved it. I've actually read it. Uh, finished it today. I did a book chat where I ramble and babble. But if you're interested, I'm going to link it down below. So, yeah. Then there is Natifa Mohammed, the Orchid of Soul, Blood Souls. She is a Somalian author, so, you know, I know nothing of this book except that it's said in, during the revolution and civil war. And, you know, I want to read more African author and show the love because Africa is fucking amazing. And we have Zemi, a new spelling of my name by Audrey Lord. I love this woman. This is a very glossy and shiny cover. I have only read Sister Outsider. It is my it is amongst my all time favorite books, but also amongst my favorite reads of the year. 2015, I mean. I'm going to film that very soon when I am when I am back in my room where I have all my books. But yeah, I'm really excited to read that. I first read Sister Outsider last February, blew my mind away. I would like to read that and then read this one, but it blew my mind away. It helped me an awful lot with you know identity and myself and stuff. So. Do not want to get personal here, but she is, you know, soul sister and stuff. Love, love her. <clears throat> I know that Hoi from the library at the edge of the world, I'm going to link and tell them though as well, has read her and absolutely love this book. And I'm glad she did because, you know, I kept on pulling it off of buying it and then seeing Holly holding the book and talking about it. It just, you know. It was the last reason that I needed to actually buy the book. But now that I have it, I'm going to try and read it very soon. And there is The Tiger's Wife by Tia O'Brett. Sorry if I butchered the name. I know nothing of this except that the narrator is going... The story begins with the narrator. Uh, wanting to understand the strange death of her grandfather. So, we shall see what it is about. I've read a couple of, you know, the first pages, and I feel like it's something I'm going to really enjoy, and I like reading books I haven't heard of, so yada yada yada. There, then there is A Year of Marvelous Ways by Sarah Whitman, once again, very, very pretty edition. And it's quite velvety when you touch it, quite stuff. I have read her first book, When God Was a Rabbit. Absolutely adored it. I read it two summers ago, and I loved it to pieces. I, I had never heard of her before reading the book and buying it. I went completely, you know, annoyed about the book. So when I heard she has a second book coming, I was really, really excited. All I know about this book is that um, it is about Marvelous Ways, who is waiting for something to happen. It feels like, it feel like it's going to be quite magical and stream of consciousness-ish. We shall see. And last, but certainly not least, is Snow in May by Xenia Melnik. So, I'm very sorry for butchering the name. Uh, she is a Russian, no, she is an American author from Russian descent. And I've been meaning to read this book for quite a, a long time, no, a year or so. It is a collection of short story. I love the title and I know nothing of it except that this is a collection of short stories surrounding uh, Russian, you know, history, culture, folklore and stuff. So. That was it for my first part of my window haul. If you have heard of any of this book, let me know what you think of them. If you recommend it to start um, one of this book, I don't know. 
just let me know what you think of any of this book really as always thank you for watching sorry for the english mistakes it will never stop to happen so bye and see you later guys